I'm delighted to be joined by Yoni from ABB. Yoni, welcome. Thank you. Now, I think ABB has been in the robotics industry for more than 40 years. It was one of the early leaders in the space. I think the world's first commercial microprocessor controlled robot was made by ABB. So um, give us a little bit more of an understanding about ABB's background in the robotics space, please. Yes, 40, more than 40 years ago, ABB developed the first microprocess controlled uh, industrial robot. And uh, innovation is, is part of ABB DNA. Since, since that, we have been continuously bringing uh, uh, disrupting innovation to the market. Robots have been in factories for many years, of course, but interested to know what, how, what you feel are the main strengths a company needs um, to ensure that it stays at the top. Of the, of the industry and the robotics business. What are the key strengths? Uh, industrial robots are a very flexible production equipment. They, they can be used in many ways. And, and the key is really to, to master the customer application, to, to, to find a solution and to master the, the motion performance with the customer uh, application. And of course, software is key part of that. ABB is, is very well known in the market for, for its software capabilities when it comes to to motion control and programming, online and offline programming. Artificial intelligence, now that's a topic that's getting a lot of hype at the moment. Yeah. Um, it's also a little bit of maybe fear around AI and how, how the robots and machines could integrate uh, yeah. with, with humans as well. Um, but tell us a little bit about your thoughts on the AI market. It's early days, I guess, but, but what are you doing in the AI space? Yeah, that, that's correct. We, we prefer to talk about machine learning, actually, which is part of artificial intelligence as, as well. But the, the development that is happening on the smart components and the sensors makes it possible to, to use the machine learning and develop new ways of, of programming robots, for example. So instead of uh, programming, we're moving towards teaching the robot. We're showing how to do things, and, and with the smart component and, and the sensors, the robot will figure out and learn by itself. Um, from a consumer point of view, um, I'd like to know how you think robots might impact our lives in the future, Yoni. Um, give us a bit of a, a visionary a closing thought on how robotics could impact consumers. Are, are they going to be making our dinner anytime soon, do you think? <laughs> I think the technologies that are used in the robotics will be used in, in our everyday life later on. Uh, whether the, the, the robots will be helping you to make a dinner, uh, it's a little bit early to say. We in ABB, we, we believe the industrial robotics market is, is still a huge untapped market. And we, we have decided to focus on the, on the industrial space. But we, we see a lot of uh, companies uh, going in the consumer space and I'm, I'm sure there will be a lot of Lots of, uh, whether we call them uh, robots or, or not, uh, uh, technology that will help you in your, in your daily life. Yoni, thank you. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.